We will then continue with the next speaker who is with us online, and it's uh, Shikin Kai from China. Just start whenever you are ready. Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, my name is Shikin Kai from uh, Shanghai, China. And uh, first of all, I would uh, like to thank the organizers for inviting me to join this wonderful meeting. Today, I will present our recent work about two conserved epigenetic regrets prevent healthy aging. As you know, the population, as the world, world Earth population is getting old, and aging is a major risk factor for many human diseases, including Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, heart failure, diabetes, cancer, and so on. So understanding the biology of aging is very important for preventing this age-related human diseases. So aging is a complex phenomenon and the biology of aging involves many aspects, including cellular aging, tissue aging, organism aging. And aging is also accompanied by behavioral decline. Compared with other aspects of aging, the mechanism underlying behavioral and cognitive aging is less studied and remains unclear. So, our lab mainly focuses on understanding uh, mechanism underlying behavioral and cognitive aging. So our nervous system controls our behaviors, and the brain aging is a major cause for behavioral decline in the older people. There are about 100 billion neurons in our brain, and the neural, neural interaction is mainly mediated by synapses. In aging human brain, the expression level of most synaptic transmission-related genes are downregulated, which results in dysfunction of our synapses and causes behavioral decline in the other people. Upregulation synaptic function by enhancing neuron transmitter level can improve cognitive function in other people. Here is an example. In this study, the authors find administration of L-DOBA, a dopamine precursor molecular, can enhance cognitive function in, in other people. So we assume if a gene can upregulate neuron transmitter function at the later stage of adulthood, then this gene may can prevent aging-related behavioral decline and may also can prevent neurodegenerative diseases. So we want to find this kind of gene at the genome-wide level. So we're using Seligan as our animal model because Seligan uh, has a short lifespan and powerful genetic tools. Seligan is also classic animal model for aging research. Firstly, we want to examine, examine the uh, two important neuron transmitters, serotonin and dopamine level in aging cell ligand. And we found the uh, serotonin and the dopamine level de decreases with age. And the age related loss of serotonin and dopamine is responsible for many, uh, 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 for decline of many important behavior, uh, such as the male mating behavior. Upregulating serotonin and dopamine level can enhance uh, behavioral performance in aging worms. Here is an, an example. Administration of uh, serotonin can, uh, specifically in aged worm, can upregulate their uh, 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 behaviors, uh, such as uh, male mating behavior. So furthermore, we found a uh, serotonin and dopamine shared synthetic enzyme. This one expression level decreases with age, and this decrease is responsible for loss of serotonin and dopamine during aging. Thus, uh, the expression level of base one provides us a genetically traceable aging mark for behavioral decline. Uh, using this mark, we performed a genome-wide ANA screening for selecting genes that specifically increase serotonin and dopamine level in aged worm. Uh, then we, we have performed uh, about 16,000 clones 
And finally, we got about 60 screening hits. And among them, 10 has been reported to be related with uh, cellular aging and uh, neurodegenerative diseases. So there are, there are still 50 uh, candidate genes newly identified. So we want to know whether this newly identified gene also modulate aging-related behavior loss or not. So then we focus our study on, on BASA2 and the CD6, uh, two epigenetic regulates. So we found that BASA2 and the CD6 are mainly expressed in the nervous system of uh, C. elegans. And uh, the expression level of uh, CIS2 protein increases with age. Deletion of a BAT2 and the set 6 or both can significantly enhance dopamine and the serotonin level in aged worm, but not in young adult worm, suggesting that BAT2 and the set 6 specifically regulate uh, age related uh, loss of serotonin and dopamine level in selenium. Furthermore, we found a uh, deletion of a uh, set 6 and uh, all. Bet two or both can significantly enhance behavioral performance in aging worms, but not in uh, young adult worms. These behaviors, including uh, feeding behavior and uh, male mating behaviors. Then we ask how Bet two and the set, set six modulate uh, silicon aging. And the set six is predicted to have uh, H3K non messenger transferase activity. Then we uh, express and purify the set domain of set six, then perform the in vitro enzyme activity test. And we found that the set domain of set six can enhance H3K non ME2 level and H3K non ME3 level suggesting that the set six indeed have uh, uh, H3K9 methylotransferase activity. Furthermore, we found H3K9 ME3 level in BAT2, uh, in BAT2 and the set six or double mutant worm is significantly lower than set of uh, uh, white type worms, suggesting that BAT2 and the set six can affect H3K9 methylation level in aging worms. In worm, uh, in silicon. Then we we ask how bet two and the set six uh, affect the gene expression. We we perform the mRNA seq ACR and find most upregulated gene in set six and bet two mutant worms are overlapped, while most of downregulated gene in these two mutant worms are not overlapped, suggesting that these two protein repress gene gene expression. We also uh, performed the CHIP-seq ACR, and we found that BAT2 and the CD6 combined uh, with many uh, DNA regions. And furthermore, we found that mitochondrial function-related genes are enriched in combining DNA regions and also uh, in overlapping upregulated genes in chip seek uh, experiments. Then uh, we, 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 uh, we think that BAT2 and the set 6 may regulate the mitochondrial function in cellular. Indeed, we found a deletion of BAT2 uh, or set 6 or both can significantly enhance the ATP level and oxygen consumption rate in cellular and also uh, overexpression BAT2 and the set 6 can reduce ATP level and the oxygen consumption rate, suggesting that BAT2 and the set 6 repress mitochondrial function in worms. There are another important mitochondrial function called mitochondrial unfolded protein response, mitochondrial UPR, uh, uh, a signaling pathway that can promote longevity. So, we also found the deletion of a BAT2 or set 6 or both can uh, uh, enhance the activation of uh, mitochondrial UPR. While with down regulation of UBL5, 
a positive regulator of uh, mitochondrial UPR, or ATFS1, a transcription factor of mitochondrial UPR, can abolish uh, uh, mitochondrial UPR activated by, by deletion of uh, the two or the six or both gene. Furthermore, we found the down regulation of UBL5 or ATFS1 can uh, abolish the for a behavioral improvement improvements in 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 bet two and the set six or both both uh, build, uh, double mutant worms, suggesting that the mitochondrial API is required for behavioral preservation in aging animals. Then we ask whether the regulation of bet two and the set six are conserved in mammals or not. The two have two mammalian uh, home log, bed 2A and bed 2B. The set domain of set 6 is similar with the set domain of EHMT1 and the set domain of EHMT2. By analyzing the existing data set on human brain gene expression, we found that the expression level of bed 2B and EHMT1 increases with age. While the expression level of bet 2 a and EHMT2 are not changing in, uh, during aging in human brains. Then we focus our study on bet 2 b and EHMT1 in mammals. In a human brain with Alzheimer disease, we found that the expression level of bet 2 b and EHMT1 positively correlates with uh, progress of Alzheimer's disease. While in human brain with Alzheimer's disease, the expression level of bet 2 b and EHMT1 negatively correlates with uh, some important mitochondrial uh, protein expressions, suggesting that bet 2 b and EHMT1 may also can regulate mitochondrial function and brain aging in mammals. Then we, we test this idea. So uh, we down regulation bed to b and EHMT1 in cultured uh, neurons from uh, 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 mouse brains. And we found that a uh, knockdown of these two genes can enhance ATP level and uh, oxygen consumption rate in cultured neurons. While over expression of bed to b and EHMT1, can reduce oxygen consumption rate and uh, ATP level in cultural neuron, suggesting that bet 2 b and set 6 repress mitochondrial function in neurons. Then we uh, constructed a bet 2 b knockout mass by uh, uh, crystal case 9 editing. And uh, uh, we found that mitochondria isolated from bet 2 b knockout mass brings mass brains uh, show higher uh, mitochondrial activity than that from uh, uh, mitochondrial isolated from white type mice, suggesting that uh, but to be knockout enhanced mitochondrial function uh, in vivo. Then we, we, we examined the uh, uh, but to be knockout uh, phenotype. And very interesting, we found that at the young adult stage, all three genotype mice show similar body weight, while in, in older mice, that to be knockout mice show significantly less body weight than that of age matched white type mice, suggesting that abolish of that to be prevents age, age dependent body, body weight gain. So we also performed, performed a neural location recognition test to, to, to examine the special learning memory ability of a mouse. And uh, uh, also very interesting, we found that at the young adult stage, <clears throat> all three genotype mice show uh, a clear ability to recognize neural position of uh, object 
while in aged worm, uh, mice. Why type mass lost this ability? Only that to be knockout mass maintain this ability uh, to, to, uh, to recognize the location of uh, uh, object, suggesting that abolish of bed to be preserves special learning and memory ability in aged mice. We also performed a balance maze test. Uh, again, we found that in aged mass, uh, the uh, better to be knockout mass show a better special learning memory abilities than age ma matched uh, uh, white type mice. So uh, finally, we we given a working model. During aging, the expression level of better two and the set six increases then enhanced H3K9 ME3 level, then can repress mitochondrial function, then accelerate aging. When we don't regulate that two, all set six or both can reduce H3K9 uh, methylation level, then can upregulate mitochondrial function, then can slow down aging process. In summary, uh, in this study, we provide a uh, global view of genes that may reg regulate uh, behavioral aging. And we found that BAT2, BAT2B, and the set 6 ehmt one can prevent healthy aging. These two uh, epigenetic effects regulate mitochondrial function and cognitive performance through affecting H3K9 methylation levels. And we propose that BAT2B and the ehmt one are potential nerve antigen uh, at aging genes. Finally, I want to thank all people in my lab and this uh, uh, study mainly conducted by uh, Ye Jie and Chang uh, Siyue and uh, uh, in Sigang Chen Xiu from uh, Professor Jiang Lo Bin's lab. Thank you for your attention. Uh, I, I will be happy to take questions. Thank you. Thank you very much, Xi King. Um, do we you. have a question in the audience? Yes, we have one. Yeah, um, great, uh, great study. Um, I have one question um, about this chronic activation of mitochondria that you see in the knockout mice. Um, yes. Did you look whether you have side effects? You know, if you have chronically activated mitochondria, how about lifespan or any side effects on some tissues? Oh, uh, good question. Uh, in cell again, actually, we also find that uh, uh, usually uh, when uh, uh, the cell again aging, uh, the cell again will become bigger, then uh, this, uh, this uh, uh, better to be, or uh, especially better to be not called uh, uh, cell again, uh, better to, uh, base, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> better to uh, not called uh, warm, sure. Uh, smaller than than uh, white type of uh, uh, worms uh, at, uh, when when getting old. So like like uh, like uh, uh, in in, in mice. And uh, in uh, in terms of behavior, we, we didn't find any any behavior uh, uh, difference uh, at the young adult stage. So 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 far we, we didn't find any 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 difference. Okay, and we have another question here in the audience from Gerard. Yeah, I, I was wondering what would be, what is, what is your thinking? Why would you have genes that prevent healthy aging in your genome? So this is a very good question. I have, I have been asked for many times. So, so uh, uh, according to a trade off theory, so the, the, the evolution select selects genes that are good for uh, young adult animals, but not good for aged animals. This gene <laughs> belongs to this kind of gene. <laughs> so maybe, uh, maybe this is the answer. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Xi King. Maybe we can give another yeah. round of applause for Xi King. Thank you for joining Thank us you. today. Thank you.